Okay, it's March 16th, 2012, and this right here is the brand new iPad, or the iPad 3, even though it's not officially called the iPad 3. Now, I just picked up this tablet from Best Buy, and I got the lowest end version, which is the 16 gigabyte, and it's a black version of the brand new iPad. And after taxes, it cost me about $531. So let's take a quick tour around the box. Everything looks pretty familiar to the previous iPads. You have a representation of the iPad on the front. You have some iPad branding on the sides. And then you have the iCloud branding on the bottom and the Apple branding on the top. The back is pretty much blank, except it tells you what version you have here. Like I said, I have the 16 gigabyte version down here. And that's just a piece of tape over there. So without any further ado, let's open this thing up. And I got my trusty cutter here, so let me just get the plastic off here. So this should be pretty familiar. This should be pretty similar to other iPads, previous versions of the iPad. So let's just open this up and see what's on the inside here and how it's packed in here. And like I said, pretty much identical. You have your iPad here in the plastic casing. Let's pull this out here. And of course you have your power brick down here and your documentation here and probably some Apple stickers. There you go, you have that one card that tells you how to operate your iPad, shows you where the home button is, the volume control, the silent button, the mute switch, uh, and your on and off and sleep and wake button. And then it gives you some information back there. Then you have some product information here and of course the Apple stickers. Let's put this to the side. And then of course you have your cord in here. And that's it. So let's put all this to the side and get to the main event. All right, here is the Apple iPad 3. And just in hand, it feels just a hair thicker than the other versions. But we'll get into all the specifications in another video. This is just to unbox. Now, let me pull this plastic off here. And slide this out. And there we go. Looks like your regular iPad, but the differences are all when you turn on the device because the screen is a retina display. And we'll get into that in the next video where I actually start up this device for the very first time. But if you have an Apple iPad 2, this should look very familiar to you. You have your front-facing camera, you have your home button down here, of course your screen and then your bezel. It comes in two colors. You could get a black version like this or you can get a white version. On the right-hand side of the device, you have your volume rocker here, and then your mute switch. It can also be a orientation lock if you'd like. On the top of the device, you have your power button here, and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over here, and then you have a mic right here. On the right side of the tablet, there's nothing there. On the bottom, you have your dock connector here, and you have your mono speaker down here, right on the beveled edge there. On the back, you have your Apple branding, your 5 megapixel camera up here, and of course all your FCC information down here, and it says iPad 16 gigabyte version, right down there. All aluminum construction, except for the front, which is Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, as I said, there's a little bit, you can actually feel it, it's a little bit thicker than the iPad 2 was. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually a little bit heavier, too. I no longer have the iPad 2 that I did videos on, so I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison. But just by memory, this does feel a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than the previous version. And that's because it has a beefier battery inside here to accommodate the 4G option that you can get on this device. This device in particular is just a Wi-Fi version, but you can get it in 4G LTE but I'll get into that in my next video. So that's the Apple iPad 3, or as they call it, the brand new iPad. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and give me a thumbs up or favorite this video because it helps out my channel. So that's pretty much it for now. I'll see you guys next time.